Ever notice that Jesus is constantly casting out demons? We saw in Luke chapter 8 that a demon-possessed man meets Jesus in the Gerasenes when he and the disciples land at the shore of the sea. This is not the first time. In chapter 4, he casts out a demon in the synagogue in Capernaum. Then later on in chapter 4, there's a whole series of demons that recognize Jesus. How did Israel come to be so filled with demons? How does a land come to be filled with demons? Well, let me suggest some things to you. First of all, idolatry. When the Romans entered Palestine, they brought their idols, especially Caesarea, especially the Gerasenes, which was a Gentile territory, and especially to the very north, such as Caesarea Philippi, different than Caesarea on the seacoast. 1 Corinthians 10 says that behind idols are demons. Demons are brought by idol worship. Here's the second thing. That demons are brought by killing or murder. John chapter 8 and verse 44 says that Satan is a murderer. Remember Cain killing Abel? A slew of violence, a slew of murders brings demons. Here's a third thing. Lying. Lies. Lies against the truth. Lies against Christ. Again, John chapter 8 and verse 44. Satan's not only a murderer, he's a liar from the beginning. When people start to lie, the demons start to come. Here's a fourth thing. False religion. False religion. 2 Corinthians, Paul says that Satan disguises himself, chapter 11, as an angel of light, so do Satan's servants. False religion. A Judaism that the Pharisees, that the Sadducees, had driven away from the true and living God and his revelation. We have to be careful not to have what I mentioned yesterday in the men's group as a Californianized Christianity. Christianity it's part the New Testament and part the culture in which we live. No, false religion brings the demons. And so it's no accident that Jesus drives out the evil forces. 1 John chapter 3 says, The Son of God came into the world to destroy the works of the devil. So Jesus is driving out the evil forces as he goes through Galilee and on into Judea. It's a tragedy that that holy land had become so infested by demons. But that's what happens when lies, murder, violence, false religion, deceit away from the truth, enter into and cover a land. Let's pray for the kingdom of God to triumph in our city, in our state, and in our country. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday, June the 13th. Hope you're doing well. Seek first the kingdom of God and pray for the church and pray for me. Always, always, always seek to do God's will and pray for your neighbors and look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless you as you serve him.